Okay, so on this tutorial, we are going to reinforce the skills of overlap dialogue editing. You, I've provided some assets of a project that was shot in the past, but first let's start by looking at the prep assets so that as an editor, you know what the story's about. We begin with the, uh, the script of the scene. We have the storyboard that walks us roughly through the visual telling of the story and we have the production notes that tells us what the good takes are. Next thing we want to do is open up Premiere and import the video assets into the project. We've got our wide scene. We've got our Over the shoulder shot, two takes of that. We've got a close up, reverse shot. We've got a close up. And we've got our medium reverse shot. We also have room tone. Okay. So, this, so when we are editing, Basically, what we're trying to do is to not draw attention to the edit. We need to efface the editor so that we can focus our attention on the story. And the ways we do that is by either cutting on action or by overlapping the dialogue and picture so that either we hear the character speaking before we see them speaking or we hear the character listening before that character responds. In this particular edit, um, what I want you guys to do is cut this the way that you think is right, but this is just an example. So we've got her open, and here I decide, I, I let her um, say a line and then I cut on action. Hey, you want to see something gross? All right, so that's kind of like a nice. Hey, you want to see something gross? So she says something in this first line to get the story started. I cut on action. No. Then we hear our guy. Okay. And so we hear him speak before we cut to his picture. Come on, that's pretty gross. Once again, she says something. Come on, that's pretty gross. No, thank you. Don't be a puppy. Hey. So what's nice is that we don't always have to cut to somebody when they're speaking. No, thank you. Don't be a puppy. Because otherwise it will it can feel too choppy if we do an edit every time. So don't feel obligated to always edit. All right, and so that's a good listening, and then he starts speaking. Okay, so we and then and then I end with a match on action. All right, the end. So. What we'll want to do is put our fade in and fade outs on it, like we always do. Transition, video, apply video transition. All right, all right. And so we've got a good um, scene where the pace works. All right, so it's got a nice natural pace, and I've, I've overlapped and matched on action in a way that we're not paying attention to the editing, we're paying attention to the story. So then, I so if you right-click or control-click, you can duplicate or hit Command, basically if you hit Command-D, you can duplicate the sequence. And what we then next need to do 
is we need to separate the dialogue. Right, so then basically everything that she says is on one track, everything that he says on one track, and then we add our room tone track underneath. And then if we stretch out our audio sequence, then you will see that I put, um, like, at this point right here, there's a little crack in the uh, crack on the microphone that I cut out, and so when people speak. When we do this dialogue prep, hey, you want to see something gross? No. I fade out on her stuff, no. and then fade in his, and fade out, and quick fades and fade outs. Don't be a puppy. Take a look. I'll be your friend. I, I don't even know you. Oh my! Hmm. I will never unsee that. And so we're listening for mistakes in the audio that we can clean up right now. And we, we set the levels so that they're about equal to each other. And then we have the room tone set at a level where if there are gaps in the dialogue, like, for example, if we did put a gap in here, it would become seamless because we have our dialogue. And then this scene is ready to be um, sent to Pro Tools. And so what I want you guys to do is use Shift-Command-3 to take a full screen grab or shift command 4 and capture this whole image for a screen grab post that on D2L so I know that you did the dialogue editing and then render the project that you know that has our your overlapped editing and 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 the cross dissolves in it as well render that as a, a 1080p H264 file and post that on D2 as well. And good luck.